Uh, road crews are still working to reopen major stretches of I-40 in western North Carolina after Hurricane Aline. State transportation leaders asked people to avoid these areas for safety. However, some towns in the mountain communities did not get as much damage, and they are begging tourists to visit. Queen City News reporter Savannah Rudisell explains who's open for business. October is usually one of the biggest months for business in the mountains. The fall foliage draws thousands of people to the area every year, but with some road access limited, river activity suspended, and a lot of the leaves blown off the trees, tourism is expected to be way down. Now, take the town of Blowing Rock, for example. Local business owners there tell us they normally have full shops at any given point of the day during the month, but this year they're struggling to get any kind of foot traffic in. Nearly 15% of Blowing Rock's revenue for the year comes in October, and that's why some store and restaurant owners say they want customers to understand if the storm didn't harm them, the calm afterwards just might. Please come up. We beg you. We'd love to see you. It's beautiful. We're all here. We're open, and we just can't wait to see everybody again. Now here's a look at some of the places that are reaching out for tourists after Helene. A lot of those town leaders, they say that some of their areas appear just almost untouched at this point, three weeks after the storm. Many of these tourism boards will be posting updates on their social media pages. Some say they know they still definitely have the support of their local community, but it is tough for residents to part with some spending money right now. Local owners tell us that they are looking forward to seeing people again, not just for the economic boost, but for a sense of normalcy to return. Back to you.